Timmy, I don't want to make you too uncomfortable here, but I'd be remiss not to mention your match with Dimitri Steinman. And um, to really set the scene here, if you follow Timmy as closely as I do, you you would know that this wasn't the first incident that had happened between the two of you. And this is actually the second time. So there has been prior history that in the past. But if you could walk us through a little bit of behind the scenes there on both those matches and how if there was any build up to this. Uh, and honestly, your perspective, and I know you you said it so professionally in the post game interview. I was a little shocked how well you put it together. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know if he scripted this before, but wow, this is very well put. You know, you you mentioned your point, but also was very kind to him. And I, honestly, I don't know how you kept the adrenaline in because I would have been absolutely livid. And I think a lot of people share my sentiments, considering most of the Instagram questions that got submitted was, I don't know how he kept it together. That is unbelievable. And also, I want to hear your take on what you thought of his apology. If you thought it was genuine, or he did it for publicity's sake. But Got all it, those yeah, little yeah. nitpicky things, I would love to hear your thoughts. Because yeah, that's something I heard a lot about as well. Was like the, his apology. Everyone like the, the the support was really good for him, which I think is a great thing overall. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, like how I kept it together, I definitely was uh, was not that together right before that. <laughs> like on the side <laughs> court when I was talking to <laughs> obviously like, Bridget, my coaches, and, like they're making sure I'm okay and everything. And I and I was yeah. definitely not happy because I was like, what the hell is he doing? You know, like I was going to yeah. win the match. Like I had broken him, and I was like six one up or something, seven one up. And there was just no need for it. And it was it was before the fifth game. Like he knew he was cooked physically. Um, and that's when he said he started saying some things to me when we hadn't been really talking to each other the whole match. So there was also, no build up till the fifth game. No, it also, no, no, really. It was like the end of the fourth game. He said he said that thing where he was like, you know, you know, yeah. whatever, whatever, whatever he said, you know. And as we're coming back onto the fifth, there was also another weird moment where we're walking on the court and I just walked right in front of him. And I'm sure you could you could probably see it on the on the replay, but. I'm opening the door and he just put both of his feet under my feet. You know, when you kick like underneath someone's feet, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and I was like, it's a really annoying thing to do. <laughs> he's just like, letting me know he's there. And I'm like, what are you, what's going on? And obviously in hindsight, now we know if he said like he had a complete head off, like he went in, in total instinctual mode where he's like, he's in fight or flight. And he's just trying to intimidate me. I think, you know, in the moment, but like, obviously you can't do that. So he's going to learn from it. But like, mm-hmm. you know, obviously you guys saw what happened in, in, in the fifth game. Um, but yeah, like he, he didn't, um, the public apology was nice and like he took, he owned it and he, he said like, he's struggling a bit, which is, which is totally, which is great. You know, he did, he didn't send me a message. I think it was cause he sent me a, a nice message last year when it happened. And I think that was our last message on Instagram. Like we don't, yeah. we don't talk. So it's like, if you were to send another message, it'd be the same message two years in a row. So like, I think that's maybe why he held off on that one, but 